everyone, um, sorry I haven't uploaded a video for a while, uh, we did come down last weekend and we made a video um, but when I got the footage home it had corrupted so I didn't manage to put a video together but we've come down today to do quite a few things, we're going to be um, sowing some sunflowers and some carrots um, and I've also got some more bulbs that need to go in and we'll have a look around the allotment too and also if you watch the video to the end we're going to do a little competition with some more seeds um, that you can win and I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end of the video um, so I'll see you in a bit it, This is the volcano here I was just making it look like a volcano and we'll need some more here like these Right, um, we're in the polytunnel and we're going to plant some sunflower seeds. So the two types of sunflowers that we're planting is we're planting Little Leo and planting Giant Single, these two here, okay. Um, Last year, in fact, the, the all the years we've been doing, yeah, you can start putting the, the soil in the pots, these ones here. Oh, for the top? Yep, yeah, fill them right to the top. Um, so the boys are just going to fill up these pots um, with their diggers, um, and then I'm going to let them put the sunflower seeds in um, with these. Right, come on, enjoy. Um, so we're going to fill these pots up so we've just got a, a little space at the top and then boys what you need to do is use your fingers to make some holes where you're going to put the sunflowers in we're going to put three seeds in each pot okay have we done that right joe you're going to plant the giant single ones and sammy's going to plant the little leo okay is that all right boys So we're going to do two sowings of these. We're going to do these ones now. Um, we're going to put them inside in a greenhouse. Um, and keep them just a little bit damp, but not too wet. Otherwise they, they won't um, germinate. Grow. Yeah, they won't grow, will they? Um, and then we're going to make, um, we're going to plant these at the allotment, aren't we? You don't have, how many have you got in each tub, Joey? Three. Three, okay. Do you want to plant some more? How many is in this one? Because that one's quite a big pot, isn't it? Um, None so we'll put yet. some more. Um, Sammy's put a quite a lot of compost in that, hasn't he? And do you know what else we've got to sow today, Joe, as well? Do you know them samurai car carrots that you wanted to grow? I brought them seeds with us today. So we'll put see. The, yeah, the here, look. So there's the, there's, these are the um, samurai carrots that Joy wanted to grow and these are really long red carrots aren't they Joy? Can I cover them? Yeah, yep, yep. So cover your sunflowers up now. Have you planted, shall I keep these ones and we'll sow them later on? Um, right, these are the samurai carrots that Joy ordered didn't you? I can't see the picture. Well there's no pictures on them but you, you saw the picture in the catalogue, do you remember a while ago when you ordered them? And they're really long and thin. So this is the tub that we're going to use for these, Joy, so that hopefully, if we do a good job, they'll grow right down to the bottom of this tub because it's really big. And you'll end up with really long carrots. And they're red as well, aren't they, these ones? Samurai um, ones. Samurai ones, like, nin uh, not, like samurais, not ninjas. Right, okay. So um, let's see how many we've got in here. Because um, I think it might be a case of we could just grow. sprinkle them in and then we can thin them out as they grow, couldn't we? Okay. Right, move this way so people can see what you're doing. Okay. Are you ready for this, Joy? Cross us your hand. Right, so... Your... Okay, Sam. So what you need to do is just sprinkle them over the top. Do you want some as well, Sam? Okay, sprinkle them on. All over, that's it. like that. 
put some in that corner near you there, Sam. Look. Do you want all? I think of that's them? all of them. Yeah. There's some in that corner there. Let's spread them out a little bit. Okay. And then what we need is just a little that, tiny bit of compost on the top. They're not Okay, so this is the other tub that I'm going to sow the carrots into. This too is a mix of sand and compost. Um, but I am going to add some more compost to it as well. Um, looks like the kids have put some stones and stuff. Right. Um, and the carrots that I'm going to sow in this one are called uh, Royal Chardonnay and they're just like little um, dumpy ones. Um, so I'm going to just put a fresh layer of compost down. I mean, it, with carrots, it's um, a good idea, like once you've sowed them, not to transplant them. So that's why I'm doing them in these tubs and then just moving them outside when it gets a bit warmer rather than um, taking them out of pots and putting them into the ground because that you always end up disturbing the roots when you do that. Um, so I'm just going to put these ones in here. And again, I'm going to put the whole, I'm just going to sprinkle the packet um, out. And then um, as we go through the season, I start, I thin them out. Looks like the boys are playing well. I'd rather not. A lot of people do carrots in different ways, but this is just the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, right, I'll leave that like that, and then I'll give you a tour around the allotment. Hi. So I think I'm, I'll do a tour of the plot now, Hi, um, so you can see Hi, what we've got going. Here's Joy, have a look, <laughs> there he is. Um, I'll show you around and um, tell you what's yeah. going on and stuff. I'm particularly happy today because some of my bulbs have started appearing, um, so I'll show you those because they look really pretty. Um, and hopefully there should be more and more of those because we've, plant, we've plant, planted quite a lot. And we've still got some summer um, ones to plant as well, and um, so I'll do that now. Okay. Um, so, we just put some pots down around the edges for now just to hold the fabric down because we're going to try and kill off um, the weeds in this area because um, I think we need to make better use of this area. I mean, we do sit here and have picnics and things, but um, I think we need to do something a bit better with it. Um, over here, I've sowed me broad beans, my first set of broad beans, and I want to get two other... Um, hi, Sam! Two other sets of broad beans in there. And this is our wildlife area. Have you had a look? Have you seen anything? Yeah. Seen anything? Anything going on in the wildlife area? No. I hope we have some frogs again this year. That would be Why? good. Because it would be good because they eat all the slugs and stuff, don't they? The frogs. Yeah. yeah, they do. We need a poison one. A poison frog? What for? To kill them. Kill the slugs? Yeah. Good thinking. That's Dewey's um, wildlife hotel, bug hotel that is made there. We got a caterpillar in there, do you remember? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I um, it's still there enjoying it. It might be in there somewhere, but we don't like some caterpillars because they eat the cabbages. Mm. We don't like certain ones that eat other things, don't we? Um, which we do get, them black and yellow stripy ones. Oh, 
the Zelda. Don't drink the pond one, uh, water Zelda. Don't drink it. Okay, let's go and have a look around here. Um, so this is our herb bed. We've got some lavender growing in there, some rosemary. We have mint in there as well that comes back. A mint? Mint. Do you know that, that's that stuff that you like? That needs a bit of a dig over. Now I have got in here um, some beetroots. I don't know if they're any good, like, Zelda's been digging them. Oh yeah, there's some of them. We might dig dig them up and we could eat those. Um, I've got a plan um, of what goes in where. I just haven't brought it with me today because I wasn't planning on planting anything in the ground. Um, my strawberries have started to look a bit more healthier. Oh yeah, Joey. Um, they're coming through nicely now. That's through this fabric. So we should get lots of strawberries this year. Hey, this is that doesn't look too safe, Sam. You are you gonna be careful? This is the boys' new and improved, slightly improved play area. Um, I filled up this tire with some pebbles because um, they've brought more trucks down here to play with, and we've also got the playhouse here now um, that we might use for chickens. Uh, at some point um, and then they've got the the pondy thing there that they use for the trucks and stuff in uh, this is my flower bed I've got some um, bulbs coming through just there they're looking really pretty um, and there's loads of other ones starting to appear now as well um, some tulips and things so that'll be nice when they start coming through um, and some of my daffodils just over there and um, we planted some um, gladioli just in there last week and I made a lovely video of that but obviously I lost the footage um, because I didn't manage to upload it last weekend which I was a bit gutted about um, so my dad's covered these ones up because I think this is where my squashes are going this year there and there um, I think it's me beans and peas uh, I'll run a beans <coughs> and peas in this one um, and this one is going to be our fruit cage over here um, that's some Norfolk greenhouses it, we just need to put the door and the netting um, on that before we move it into its final position we're not in too much of a rush because um, we've um, only just planted the fruit bushes there's nothing on them just yet um, and we've got some gooseberry bushes just over there um, and then I think over here we're going to have brassicas and things. I put the plan up on the screen and then you can see exactly what's what. Um, and these are our leeks that are coming along nicely. I'm just going to leave them in until they thick up a bit. I don't, I don't know whether they will or not, but there's my leeks. And then we've got some pavers here that we're going to put down um, as paths when we get to it. Um, so that's that. That's what the allotment's looking like at the moment. Um, this is where I planted my onions and my garlic. Now, I thought, I don't know where I got it from, somewhere I'm head, that I was just to put, put the garlic bulbs in the hole and just leave them uncovered. But then, um, I can't remember who it was, but I'll put the name on the screen um, in a bit. Um, they said that I should have covered them over because the birds and stuff pulled them out. And I've just looked now and it does look like some of them have been pulled out. Um, so I've bought a, full, a few more um, bulbs. Um, I've got Shittagata Giants and Carmen, um, them ones, and I'm going to try and look to see where they've been pulled out and replace them, um, but any that I don't get like in the holes where I've replaced them, I'm going to um, fill up this area with them, because um, this is where the onions, the garlic and the leeks um, are going in this bed here. competition at the end of the video so here it is um, we've teamed up again with seed parade 
um, to bring this competition and we're offering two, four, six, eight packets of seeds. Um, all you have to do to enter the competition is just put a comment in the box below and subscribe to our channel. Um, uh, there are seeds such as carrot, tomato, black cherry, um, okra, um, outdoor girl tomato and cucumbers and things. Um, so all you have to do is just um, subscribe and leave a comment in the uh, section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.